Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 74 to 75. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode or these episodes. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me and it means a lot to me, I do have all these reads on my Patreon page where I don't have any sort of censorship. I won't like blur out all the bad words or the scary part or the gory parts. And I will not have the cat logo up to cover anything and you guys I will also gain early access to all my reads so if that's something up your alley definitely check it out it's on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic let's go ahead and get started oh, all right Whew. do you not care about Kenny at all oh, of course I do I care about him and everyone else more than you ever did for us so don't ever question whether I cared enough about because at least I wasn't the one who walked away. <gasps> Homesick. Dawn will be here shortly. I can't f***ing believe you left Oak there, you b <laughs> He was dead. Poppy, disemboweled. Wait, disemboweled? Yeah. He was still alive, you lying piece of sh You deliberately left him to rot. You should have seen the look on his face. Oak didn't bother fighting back. That's why he lost. Somebody as fragile as him is an embarrassment to this community. Projecting is making you look extra insecure, Bella. It's ugly. Quite a commotion just now. What's going on? He's mad I left Oak. <laughs> Oak's dead. He's not a fighter, but he sure does cling on to dear life. Don't worry, Adon. I sense something great knocking at your doorstep very soon. I see. I'll take your word for it. On a different note, I think you'll be pleased by our capture today. Consider it an early birthday present. I look forward to it. Get some rest, Nightshade. Nightshade left Oak knowing that he's alive. That's unacceptable. If there's no trust, there's no loyalty. Don't you trust Nightshade, Lily? It's hard to say. I guess I'm just not fond of her. And how she handles things. That's completely reasonable. T Status? Special. He recently made contact with a merc, but something seems off. How so? I believe he's trying to fight it off. Not a match, huh? Most likely. Is that... Uh, Gladiolus? My boy. Is that really you? I've been searching all over for you. How have you been? <sighs> you grew your hair out. Looks good on you. Can't say the same for you. Oh. <laughs> Is it really that bad? <laughs> I see you've been quite busy lately. Just the usuals, but why don't why don't we skip the boring part? I heard you're with a girl. Why isn't she with you? Don't know. You should ask Nightshade. Or better yet, ask Oak. Very well. I guess the two didn't welcome you with open arms. That's alright. We should talk about this over tea later. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable. This is your home after all, Gladiolus. <laughs> God, I'm such an awful person. Why did I say those things? No, I should be apologizing to Rain net right now. But what if she's mad at me? No, 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 no. There's no time to second guess, Tomaha. You just got her back. Hmm. Be a little more positive. Yeah, 
just apologize to her and everything will be fine. Find your dad, your friend. Find them before it's too late. M Mariah, hurry. Or I'll fucking haunt you in the afterlife. Huh? Homesick. What was that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, is the flashback? Huh? Tomaha. Get the hell up. Find your dad and your friends. Find them before it's too late. Mariah, hurry, or I'll fucking haunt you in the afterlife. <gasps> Homesick. <gasps> what the hell is going on here? <gasps> Sorry, the number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please try again. <gasps> Come on, Dad, pick up. Sorry, the number you have dialed. Somebody! My home's far and dad's probably finding security at his workplace. I'll try calling him later. Again later. Bring his place nearby. I could probably take shelter there. I wonder if she's home safe. Please be safe. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, thank God. Where are you right now? Are you safe? I'm coming over. Rain? Please be safe. I ran as fast as my leg could take me. But I wasn't fast enough to get to her in time. Rain? <laughs> huh? Hey, it's okay. You're okay. I'm here. You're safe. Bad dream? I'm so sorry for what I said. I don't know what came over me, but I, I, I never blame you for anything. Please don't be mad at me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tomaha, I'm not mad at you. You were right. I could have considered how you guys felt and communicated better. I'm sorry for abandoning you guys. So why did you leave? Can I show you something? Huh? Yeah. Stop! What are you- Why did you do that? Are you stupid? Uh, it's healing. Ogre and Sam were both at the verge of death. With my blood, I was able to keep them alive. You're infected. For how long? I don't know. I only found out after being captured into that house. I don't know what to do or who to tell. I was so scared. So scared that I'll hurt you and the others. I know it was really stupid of me to leave when I could have just easily confessed, but part of me was afraid to see how differently you all would view me. I was a coward. That dream actually happened. Rain was knocked out. What if she's already infected then? And that girl? What if Rain... What if she... Tama? Uh, sorry, sorry, I... Oh, where are you going? I need a minute. I told you, didn't I? Nothing good ever comes from telling them what you really are. Humans can't handle learning the terrifying truth after all. Homesick. Wow. Oh my gosh. Now Tomaha knows. What's gonna happen now? Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about these two episodes, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!